the, uh, the, the Del Marble Life audience this afternoon is, is made up of, you could say, a fan club. It's just not our fan club. <laughs> it's this guy's fan club. Uh -oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Pip the Beach Cat. If you're on Facebook, you've probably seen this guy pop up on your newsfeed. Yeah. Hi, Pip. Oh, and, and we have uh, Emily Meadows, who is Pip's human. She oh, also yeah, joins us yes. this afternoon. Most people actually don't even know my name. <laughs> yeah, so we've seen Pip. We've been having fun with Pip, taking pictures of Pip. But Pip actually has quite a story, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Um, so he just sort of showed up in Berlin one day after a thunderstorm. Um, he was this little, like, wild furball, and his eyes were, like, super dirty. He couldn't even open them, um, and his ears were really bad, too. Uh, and anyway, long story short, the people that found him couldn't keep him, and the house he went to next couldn't keep him, and the house he went to after that couldn't Aww. keep him. Um, so we ended up uh, sort of babysitting him, and um, with the intention of you know taking him to the Humane Society so he could find a nice home. But they were full, uh, thank goodness, um, because we ended up keeping him. So you know one day turned into now three months. And he's turned into a superstar. Yes, he is quite uh, can, can, famous, I guess we could say. <laughs> can you share a couple of stories? About yeah. Um, so he's been on the news a bunch. He has um, a nice little Facebook following, but he's also a creator on TikTok, which is an app for, um, I would say predominantly that audience is very, very young. A lot of the students that I work with um, as a substitute teacher, um, more in like the sixth grade, fifth grade kind of range, that's where they interact with him. Um, and he makes lots of videos for TikTok. And then he's also on Instagram. So. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> he's everywhere. Yep, that's me. I'm Pip. And, and, and Pip has uh, more than four thousand followers on Facebook and he, he seems to be enjoying his new found fame, right? Yeah, I mean, he definitely loves it. <laughs> He um, goes to a lot of meet and greets and sort of anytime a charity has something going on, he'll show up to like spread awareness and help raise money. And uh, at SantaCon, he went and we had him in his little carrier and people were just, you know, shoving money There's right in the like side Star pockets. Power. Yeah, yeah, so it was yeah. awesome. Oh, we've got some pictures here. Tell us about these pictures. Yeah, oh, so this is Pip at the um, Snow Hill Christmas Parade. <laughs> he went there to see some of the students that I work with. Aww. And um, this oh is him goodness. swimming. Yeah, there was Did like a. Swimming? Yes, not all the time, um, but he does sometimes. He'll jump in. Uh, so yeah, that was when it was a little warmer. This is my husband and him paddle boarding. That's his little life vest that he wears. Oh my Unbelievable. goodness! Unbelievable. Yeah. Okay, so Pip is, is looking to the future as well. Um, Pip's being eaten by fish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his children's book. Yeah. This is yeah, exciting. So um, he's writing a children's guidebook for Ocean City. So um, it's pretty much going to be something for um, small children to have to read like about what to expect when they get to town and everything. And um, that illustration there is actually um, we just we're announcing today our illustrator. It's uh, Anna Gabriella Stro. Um, and that's who we've chosen and that's her um, her that. little drawing Aww. of Pip. Yeah. So she's officially our illustrator <laughs> as of today. That's yeah. Yeah. popcorn yeah. there. I love that. He's wow. obviously on the boardwalk. So there, our, there's a, a stuffed Pip the cat too? Yes, so we're working with a company called Hero Industries out of California and um, they are designing a little stuffed Pip in Pip's likeness. And when we start selling those, um, sort of everything that we do with Pip is somehow tied to charity or um, nonprofit organizations or helping people in general. So um, the children's book is donating 15% of the profits go to local charities. We've got um, the Cricket Center, uh, the Humane Society in Worcester County, and then also the Surf Into Integrity Program. Those are our three major ones that we're going to do 15% of proceeds to um, split between those three. And then um, if he sells the book at a charity event, so say, um, you know, the Surf Club or the Life Saving Museum has him come and do a book signing, every book that he sells physically at that event, he'll donate $3 from that book um, back to that charity. Um, yeah, and then the little pips that you just mentioned, um, every stuffed little pip that you buy will be donating a stuffed one to a children's hospital or a nursing home or things like that and um, he's currently uh, a volunteer at the Berlin nursing home oh so my yeah we're working on his schedule there now and he has um, a couple of uh, residents that he goes and, and visits and he's a little time beach with. cat with a great big heart yeah yes, exactly he is. Yes, he is. he is falling and asleep on camera <laughs> yeah and we actually we, we saw you carrying him in what looked like a space bubble Yes. What is that? <laughs> um, so a lot of people call that his spaceship. Um, my husband and I, we actually call it his trouble bubble. Um, so yeah, when we're going certain places, obviously we have to stick him in it. But also if he's ever being bad or has gotten a little overwhelmed, we're like trouble bubble time. Uh -huh. We gotta go in. <laughs> yeah, that's him at a Greyhound bookstore in Berlin oh at their grand goodness. opening. So yes. of everything that's going on with Pip, yes. what, what do you want the most for people to take away? 
Um, hmm, that's a good question. I think that we want people to definitely understand when they see him online or see him doing anything that all of it is somehow going to help our community, whether it's promoting the family friendliness of Ocean City or the other towns that he's visiting or whether it's actually the charity work and the fundraising that he's doing. Um, you know, like this is awesome. It's a cat on a surfboard or a cat on a paddleboard right. or whatever. Um, but we also want people to see, you know, the good side of that and um, and sort of know his whole story. Oh, yeah. what an amazing story that's just getting started. Yeah. Emily Meadows good. and Pip the Beach Cat. Oh. Thank you so much. Can we have, can oh, we make one more announcement? Yeah. Um, Pip has officially been cast as an extra in the movie To Avenge that is getting filmed in Ocean City in the fall. Well, really? congratulations. Yeah. So he's going to be a movie star. <laughs> no, oh my. He needs his own IMDb page now. Right? <laughs> yeah. oh, it's going to be all over the place. <laughs> he's their first cast extra. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much.